Hey, what's going on? My name is Kensei and in this video I'm going to show you how to flash your LG G7 or V40 and in the same way how to avoid um, breaking up your device. Let's get started, get started, let's get, let's get started, get started. Okay, this video is, is going to be split into three parts. Um, in the first one, um, the installation process, and the second, I will give you my general advices. Okay, you are going to need um, these four files. The lgup.dll, which is a library of common codes. The lgup uses um, the command line, will use that dll to cross flash your smartphone. The kdz file, which is the ROM itself and the drivers will which will allow your computer to um, communicate directly with your smartphone and after installing the lgup and the um, drivers for it i suggest you to um, reboot your computer after reboot put your phone into download mode by turning by turning it off completely wait a couple of seconds press the volume up button and then connect your usb cable and then go to the installation folder of lgup uh, my default location is C Program Files Time 86, LG Electronics, and LG UPO. Once there, press Shift and right click, and then open Windows PowerShell. Type CMD, and then copy and pass um, this line of code um, into Notepad because it'll be easier to edit it um, afterwards. Um, so you'll find this into the description. Okay, we don't know that COM port that your phone is connected to yet. To find out, press Windows plus X to go to Device Manager, pull down this menu, and then replace the X with the COM number found into the Device Manager. Okay, now paste the DLL location. and also the location of the KDZ firmware. Okay, I can't stress this enough. Make sure that your computer doesn't turn off during this process. That happened to me, but luckily enough, um, my device is still alive. Um, I don't know why, but LG smartphones um, seems to be very hard to break using the LG UP at least. Okay, and then after the, after the process is complete, when I say complete, I mean 100% done complete. You can un unplug your device. It'll boot up. It'll reboot one or two times. I don't know. Mine rebooted up um, two times, and after that, um, change the language from Korean to English or any language you want. Okay, my first advice will be if you're living in a, in a country where is frequent outages, make sure that you're doing this process when there is the minimal chances of that happening. And if you can access to any generator, inverters, or solar panel, do so because you don't want um, your computer to turn off on you um, when doing this process. Or oh, if you have a laptop, make sure that your battery life is longer than 15 minutes. But if you can do this, You won't have any problems. Okay, in second, make sure that you're using um, a good enough quality cable because you don't want um, your smartphone to lose connection to your computer um, when you're doing the process. Or if your um, the USB cable is kind of loose, make sure to warp um, the cable under itself and put it under something heavy to not um, touch it. Or if you have any pets, put them outside. If you have any weird parents put them outside and don't touch the cable and third even if your smartphone will be connected to a usb cable which will um, power the battery at the same time it's still wise to um charge your device up to 30 40 percent i don't know um to avoid any problems and fourth Make sure to subscribe to this channel share the video to all your family and force them to subscribe to my channel Okay, seriously, I'm not responsible if anything happened to your device. 
Oh, um, my my other advice will be um, if you're using a computer, make sure that um, you copy the files, the KDZ, especially on a SSD, because the system will be able to decompress um, the files faster to send them to the smartphone. So that um, if anything were to happen, if the copying was done faster, it will prevent any um, problems doing so. Because when I did it the first time, um, there was a power outage. So um, I thought that the, that the device was going to be bricked, but that didn't, that didn't happen because the system was fast enough to uh, process the data. So uh, yeah, before a split second before um, um, the laptop turn, turned off, um, the system was to, was able to um, finish doing what it was it was doing, and uh, and also um, always know when um, Windows will update in itself because you don't want to be stuck um, with working on updates. Don't turn off your PC. This will take a while. This will take a while because this is the 2004 version of it. So I'm using a. A SSD right now it will not take as much time as it would if I were using a, H a HDD um, a or, or this drive but I still have to wait before editing this video okay that was it if you have any further questions please ask them in the comment section make sure to like this video if it was useful and I will see you in the next video